put out the factors that are preventing us from partnering with the Holy Spirit. The first thing is distraction, especially in this end time. The distractions are too, too, too many. Some people, the social media is not their distraction. It's just that race. Race to pay bills. The race to be better than others. That is our distraction. The issues of life. What should make us serve God more is taking away God from us. Bless a Christian with a car. Brand new car. It might be the reason why he's not praying. Bless that Christian with a child. That child might be the reason why he doesn't come early to church. Or even bless them with a job. It is that job they will use as an excuse for not praying. Why should the blessing take you from the blesser? Let nothing, whatever God has blessed you with, let it not take away from you, your relationship with God. Don't get distracted. Let not our blessing turn to a cause. And for us that social media, we can be on social media five hours. But one hour praying, you have dosed 18 times in the space of one hour. The second factor that prevent us from partnering with the Holy Spirit is disobedience. I know what, what the Holy Spirit was saying to me yesterday as I was preparing was that no, it's not disobedience. It's half disobedience or obedience. Some of us don't have problem with obeying. No. But to obey, total obedience is what we are struggling with. That God will say, do this and you will do it at the right time to the right people. And I tell you, obedience sometimes, I tell you, is tagged to timing. If God has asked you to do something and you do it afterwards, you did not even obey in my own way. Maybe with God. You no, know, God is God. Maybe it's have, obe uh, have obedience. You might still obey, but is that the right time? God is saying, give to that person. If the Lord is saying now, now is now. Because so many things are attached to it. 